Hello, my awesome and amazing Virgos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Subject matter is messages from your guardian angels and what they want you to know. Let's go ahead and dive into the energy. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number 11. Power of number 9. And power of number 6. Okay. So let's see, 15, 16. So it looks like we are going to the number 26. Some of you Virgos could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. Could be dealing with a, another Virgo or possibly a Libra born in the month of September. Could also be dealing with a Cancerian and or a Gemini born in the month of June. Could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. With the power of number one, you may also be dealing with with the Gemini and Aries, uh, you could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Picking up on the power of number 21, that could be any of the fixed signs you could be dealing with. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or possibly Scorpio. Again, strong Leo energy coming in through the number 19. Scorpio and Aries energy uh, popping up again through the number 16, which would be the Tower card. So, and you could also be dealing straight up with a Pisces as well, power of number 12, because we could see the hanged man card. So going to the power of number 26, messages from your guardian angels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, Virgo, your energy's popping out already. Hmm. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25 and 26. Okay. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? Messages from their guardian angels. What do their angels want them to know? Wow. Queen of Cups. Somebody's in love with you, Virgo. You could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or maybe you are very much deeply in love with someone. I feel like somebody's definitely thinking about you, Virgo. They could be spying in on you on social media. Maybe you're spying in on this person. I feel like somebody here wants to express some love. Yeah, looks like some big love wants to be expressed or somebody here is wanting to reconcile or there will be some form of reconciliation. I also feel here too, Virgo, that your guardian angels... Hang on a second. I also feel, Virgo, that your guardian angels, you know, maybe you've had a rough time in the romance department. I feel like they're wanting you to fully awaken, fully open up your heart chakra. You may also need to balance out your root chakra. But see this blue, all that blue energy going on? That would be your throat chakra energy center point. I kind of feel like they're giving you the green light to open up and express to someone that you care for them or that you love them or 
if you feel like you're in a rock between a hard place where you can't really open up, maybe because <clears throat> there is no contact, could be very little to no communication, or, you know, if you're dealing with someone, you know, they could have blocked you, so maybe it's, you know, exceptionally difficult to open up and express certain things. Although, I feel that this person, whoever you're dealing with or whoever's on your mind, they're saying that this person is going to come in and make a major love offer. And Virgo, you may not exactly be prepared for this. This person, whoever you're dealing with, they could reach out to you within the next two days or two weeks. They're looking, this person in the two of wands is looking in the direction of the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, <coughs> male or female, <coughs> that's Toto in the background. She just had some water. Somebody's looking in your direction in order to bring this major cup of love when you don't see it. Okay, so let's go into, um, since this does definitely have a romance <clears throat> theme to it, well, let's go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. You and I were too young. You could have known this person for many, many years, Virgo. I also look at this as immature communication that you could have been through with this specific person. Some of you could have had a child. Could be family members that may also want to reconcile with you. I feel you even though we are apart. So this person is definitely feeling your energy, Virgo. Definitely picking up on strong Scorpio right now. Scorpionic energy. I couldn't let you get close to me. This person had a hard time. What they're saying is this person had a hard time being vulnerable. It's almost like they didn't want to show you the real them or the true, the true soul that they had. Because it could very well be true that this person has gone through some relationships before. And a lot of you, whoever's on your mind, you can definitely feel like this person was a player. Probably not want to have anything to do with them. But this, I feel like this person is either, you know, they're either emotionally or mentally obsessing over you. I feel it's more on an emotional level because I have a lot of cup energy going on. Could also be dealing with a fire sign. An Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. This person, Virgo, could be dealing with a third party right now, currently. I feel like what your angels are saying is all will be well. No matter what, you got to keep moving forward. But it's like, I feel like this new offer or this new beginning in love... It's like writing a new chapter or this person could end up writing the new chapter with you, but there's some form of a reconciliation. Let's go into the Romance Angels deck. Yep, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You know, if this person did something to you in the past, Virgo, that made you feel you couldn't trust them, you had to walk away. You had to learn how to love yourself first. There could have been a lot of anger. You could still feel anger and or resentment towards this person. However, some of you are manifesting for a new soulmate. 
because I could look at the, I could look at the Ace of Cups as new love, that there's a new person that's going to be headed in your direction that could end up being better, better than who you dealt with before in the past. But I also do feel that, yes, past tense energy, somebody's still very much deeply in love with you. They're still attracted to you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So t stop to smell the roses, Virgo. Maybe go take a walk out in nature. Because a lot of times, you know, when we're trying to find solutions um, to a situation, you know, and when we stress out about it, sometimes walking out in nature or going for a drive can really just open up the imagination for solutions, answers, that breathing in that fresh air. Bottom of the deck, calling, as I said, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So a lot of you are manifesting for a reconciliation with your person. They are saying it's like wish granted. And eventually it will come to pass. For some of you, it can happen during uh, Scorpio season or it could happen during Cancerian season, which we're in right now. I'm not seeing the energy timeline right now going past, going past Scorpio season for the moment. So this person can make their presence known between now and Scorpio season. They can also make their presence known because we have fire energy in Leo season as well. 30 days, it could be one day, 30 days, two days, two weeks. There's some major expression of love. Why did, you know what? I want to see why. Why did this person that Virgo knows held back? Why did they hold back their feelings? Three of Swords. Because they were either going through something or, again, they were dealing with a third party. Or you found out that they were dealing with a third party behind your back. I almost feel like this person, Virgo, is going to get their karma. They're going to get their karma for how they treated you. They're going to get their karma for lying. Karma comes in a very interesting way. Sometimes it's an energy that can hit somebody all at once, like a tower moment. Or it's an energy that can build and gradually build up where things in their life little by little just don't work out for them in order for them to make like a judgment call and see, we'll say, maybe the error of their ways to realize what and how they acted and or behaved towards the connection. So I do feel that this is a person you have dealt with before, but on the other hand, I do feel like this is a new soulmate coming in. Okay. So it's very good. It's very positive, you know, uh, energy not showing me that there's blockages. There's forward movement with the two of wands. Okay. Right now it's, it's about you getting your thoughts redirected here. Imagination is reality. So however you think about this person is going to become your reality. If it's very difficult for you to look at this person in a positive way, your best bet is to visualize this person. Just visualize your person just standing in front of you. Okay, close your eyes. Visualize this person standing in front of you. And choose either the color white, green, pink or maybe even this pale blue but I'm seeing white pink and green and they don't have to say anything to you in this visualization just surround them with one of those colors whatever you, color you are intuitively drawn towards and just imagine them being healed okay imagine them being healed in in the relationship they don't have to say anything to you. This can help. This type of visualization technique can help you if you get any kind of like a trigger, like a negative trigger from this person. Okay. Because then that will also help open up your heart chakra. It'll take away um, some of the feelings of 
um, fear and anger that you've had maybe towards this person because it's now this person wants to come in who broke your heart, but it could also be going through a breakup or they will be going through a breakup with a specific person. And then it's like them coming back to you. Okay. My awesome and amazing Virgos, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.